Hey, what is up everyone? Danny and Alex. Today, let's talk about some wrestling. In the next couple of segments, we're going to be doing a wrestling series and just touching upon some advanced techniques you can use if you do mixed martial arts, wrestling as per se, or even no gi jiu jitsu. All right, so today we're going to talk about, in this first segment, I think the most important aspect for wrestling skills, right? So if you're already someone who does, you know, wrestling or someone who's just starting out because you practice jiu-jitsu, but you want to improve on your skills by adding the wrestling elements to it, we're going to talk about, in my opinion, the most important aspect, and that's defense, all right? So, of course, if you're someone from the jiu-jitsu background coming into wrestling and you're going against someone who's a better wrestler than you are, there's bigger chances they're gonna score onto you, all right? So we're gonna talk with the mindset that we're in wrestling right now. So the first thing is always understanding your defense points. We're gonna talk about four important details today, all right? The first one is gonna be where I position my head. All right, so say for example, I'm in this staggered stance with Alex and we're in a wrestling match. And now from here, as he wants to shoot in, the first thing I wanna do before anything else is the positioning, all right? My level change should be at the same level as my opponent, and my head should be in front of his head at all times, all right? So as we're fighting and moving here, he's gonna be looking to score onto me. So the first thing I wanna use is the top of my head to stop that shot. So as he goes here, I wanna put my head into the way and then start to move away from him, okay? So always use your head as the first line of defense, all right? So we're here again, we're wrestling. As he goes in, boom and my head is always gonna be there. Now it's important to bend your legs and not have your legs straight like this and reach over, all right? Because then you're gonna be susceptible for a snap down or whatnot. So always level change first. We're both trying to score, but he shot in and boom. And then from here, you wanna move yourself away on an angle so you can reset your position. Now, a good drill for this is going to be doing this exercise with the hands behind your back. So for example, I'm gonna put my hands behind my back and my training partner is gonna just drill for a set amount of time or repetitions where he's just playing shooting on me and I have to always level change. That way there I learn to get into a nice low base and have my head against his neck at all times so I can start to move away and get into a proper positioning. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing is going to be your hands. All right, so for example, if he shoots in on me, I can use my hands to stop his head I can also use my hands to stop his shoulders. And I'll, of course, my hands, they gotta be useful, where if he tries to grab me or something like that, my hands are in the way to block those hands as well. So, second line of defense is gonna be right here. From here, just use your hands. Now, one important detail is don't be too stiff. That means like don't strain up your arms. Watch this. If I fully straighten out, well, I'm gonna block his shoulders, but what's gonna happen now is Alex, being a swift wrestler, he's just gonna pop up and continue his shots. So if it's too stiff, it's gonna look like this, boom, and then poof, and he reshoots underneath, okay? So have a little flexibility where your arms are bent slightly, okay? So my head is down, level change, and use this as a base. And the lead arm is always protecting the lead leg. If I was in this base, it's gonna be the opposite, okay? So for the purpose of the angle of the camera, we're just going into this type of staggered stance so you guys can see everything wide open on this angle. So again, he shoots in and my hands are there. Now, that brings me to the third point. The other concept to understand details for your defense is gonna be your elbows or your forearms, okay? So what's gonna happen now is as he shoots in, maybe my head and my hands were a little bit late. So you still have your elbows and your forearms in the way so when he shoots in, you still have this to kind of block him, okay? So once again, as he shoots in, whoop, your forearms are there. And now it keeps your head in an improper position which you have to bring back. So maybe you snap him down here and you move back into position, all right? To create an angle or maybe offense of your own. So once again, slow, he goes in, boom, forearms are here. So you see how his level is way better than mine? In wrestling, the one who has a better level change is gonna have a better um, chance of scoring. So. We talked about the head, we talked about the head in the position, we talked about using your hands, and we also talked about using the elbows or forearms from here. And now I could set it up so maybe I create my own shots. Now, the last line of defense is gonna be your hips. All right, it's very important. 
So it's important to try to conserve your energy and understand the three first points, but sometimes it doesn't always work in your favor. So you have to have your hips in the way, all right? And I'm not talking about sprawling as per se, I'm just talking about defense to stop the initiation of his shot. So now, if he shoots in and he goes in and I lost even the line of my elbows, now he connects to the legs already. From here, my hips need to bump before I do anything else, all right? So here, I'm gonna bump in and then I can start to escape my position, okay? So one more time here, as he shoots in, he passed the three first lines of defense, I bump and maybe I just move back to reset my position or gain the back where he shoots in, boom, I bump him here to shock him around so I can go behind him, all right? So these are four important concepts you should be practicing at all times for wrestling defense. All right, guys, so there you have it. Some wrestling techniques and tips for you guys to practice into your routines. Guys, leave us a like. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. Until next time. See you guys in the next video. Take care.